Alrighty, folks. Good morning. DVD from TCTSGroup.com. TCTS, Ireland Compliance Bible with Software. It is 6.15. A lot of stuff happened today. A lot of stuff happened this week. We have guys out in sight with uh, DVA Transport Compliance Audits there on site at this moment in time. We have several guys out doing facility management, which includes health and safety inspections, risk mitigation, driver training. They're doing uh, racking inspections. They're checking. There's new sites coming in to be signed off and authorised for load docking leveners they're checking i think there's maybe 60 something beds to check today for the usage of doors power pallet trucks forklifts all the usual and a big industrial unit ngb what else have we going on we have training today with driver cbc training we have driver assessments going on today we have i think forklift and um moffat Mardi training which is glory mount loader we have what else happened today Anyway, I'm in the office here, operational planning meetings, we have back-to-back -back risk mitigation meetings with clients, some are remote, some might be in the office. We have our own office planning, mainly this morning is the big thing. I'm going to spend an hour here going through Group Media, which is the media division, run through a couple of videos, a lot of training videos for our clients, customers, and then we'll kick the day off when the staff come in for 9am. But as I say, we have guys on the road from 5 o'clock this morning, based in County Fermanagh, going to Lisbon today and Belfast today. And then tomorrow, I think we have guys in Dublin doing a compliance site visit with two different clients. So they'll go there tomorrow, they'll stay overnight, they'll do one company. Then the next day, they'll do the next company. And that's in Dublin for one is a transport logistic 3PL company and another company is a manufacturing company where we do the risk mitigation, the health and safety, the training, the induction training, all the usual stuff. Anyway, in one of the other rooms, we have new desks and tables to sort out for a number of new staff that's going to be started with us soon. So let me get up and going here, go through the video content and bike it. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna jump in here this morning to have a ops on a meeting with Nicole. It's gonna take about four hours probably. Let's see. Has she even doing anything? Morning. Morning. Right, so it's me and Nicole here at the moment. I'm gonna do a bit of ops planning and run through all the jobs that we have. Our late jobs, jobs in advance. And as a lot of guys know, we plan three months in advance and work backwards. So when people give me a bit of jip as to why they cannot get on their schedule, this is why it's all Nicole's fault. Right, let's go. So this one, stage one, shouldn't be too bad. Okay. And then stage two, we moved a lot into as well. Yes, yes, okay, right. So that one there is stage okay. That one stage is okay. Distribution. So I'll try not to say the names here too well, but the job itself. So the media division, that's stage one as well. We still have to meet with him. That day, uh, transport compliance audit for that company. Are you going to, has he come back to you? Uh, waiting on a reply just. Right, okay. So when he goes back, then if we get the date secured, that'll go into stage two. Yeah. Okay, and um, that job 766, is that not complete? So this needs a due date. Just click on it. Is that job not? Right, guys, so we're going through a number of jobs. Yeah, just there's a couple of this conversation. All our views right there as well. So what we're going to do is, so that particular job is fitment of remote downloading. Has that downloader been fitted? Yes, on the 22nd. Why, that, can that job not be closed? Is the invoice not paid? Invoices paid, yeah. Yeah, but that's not good enough because, right, so payment is about to be received in the middle of December. The deadline for termination for them services is going to be the, it's this Friday because the system's automatic shut off. So contact them, tell them to square up what he owes for that because it's going to affect his operator's license. It's going to affect the TM services, the track graph analysis, the remote download and the tracking, all. So I can't, I can't keep funding these boys. It's not happening. You know what I mean? We need to pull him off that system because we have people lining up to take over CCA monthly visits, buy monthly visits. So drop them like a fucking stone. There's no problem. I'll actually phone him here. I'll phone him. Ah, you couldn't make this up half these boys. You actually, you just couldn't make it up. Right, so that's just what we're going to do here. There's a problem that we have, guys, is we have people queuing out 
Through the bloody gates as such, looking to go down to CCA's weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly packages that we run, compliance, health and safety, facilities management, driver training, training, all that sort of stuff. So it's not only that he'll pay, there's no problem, but he's that late in payment that now it's going to affect um, his position here. So I, I've got on the phone to him time to make payment so, as soon as he can. And again, guys, we work with people. You know, we put payment plans in place for people if they can't pay particular services and the industry at times does take a big a big drop. But as I said earlier, I can't keep funding these boys at all. But we'll try your best to work with them, that guy. Right, so good to go? Yeah. Right, let's get these emails out, make contact with them. Okay, so therefore, can you confirm this payment will be received because... Yeah, your services. So I don't know what time we started that at Nicole. We're not even halfway through it. Um, probably three hours, four hours solid. And we will... Have another. <laughs> that was obviously four hours. Let's see. Right. Right. Keep going. Alrighty, folks, good morning. It is 6 30 a.m. Saturday morning, and we are, where are we? Carrick House in Clahar to deliver a bit of driver training to one of our long standing clients. So it's a nice venue for exactly what we're looking to do. It's a gentle rub. So, yeah, it's been a long, long, long week. I don't know, I think we missed a couple of days in the middle of the week as well, but we have been struggling with public inquiries, DBA, transport enforcement audits and investigations so I don't know if we've got any footage for that we may have, we may have not but we'll see, maybe we'll get a bit of footage of the day with the guys here if they don't mind being on camera we have the classroom sessions on driver's hours tachograph, tachograph management we have sessions of the course regarding um, livestock transport and the regulations around it including a bit of red tractor and then we're outside doing a practical of data walk around check, defect reporting out on a vehicle live in the yard. So after that, we're staying in Belfast. We have a quick meeting in Belfast with a client and then we're at a motorbike event after that. So we'll try and vlog a bit of that as well. But anyway, let's try and get this room set up. So just set up here now. Try and get the room in the shape for all these guys coming at 8 a.m. So they always use a facility like this here, which is fantastic room wise. And it gives you all the facilities, obviously. A uh, bit of tea at 10 o'clock or half 10, and then the company will put on a damn good lunch for these guys. So today we're up here with M Keys Transport, and we're going to... Uh, what all training are we doing? I might have said this before, did I? Uh, in the video already. Driver's hours, tachographs, uh, operator's license awareness, driver's infringements that we'll be going into in detail. Um, we have... Data walk around check, defect reporting, we have livestock transport, we have red tractor policies, procedures, and SOPs, and then we'll be out doing the practical on the vehicle itself, which will be a live data walk around check with a vehicle that has defects on it. And the guys will be getting out, getting wet, getting cold, like real life. You know this death by PowerPoint all day long training, which is not sufficient and not relevant in this industry. Anyway, as you know, guys, if you need any training, Specialist bespoke training. Give us a shout to info at dctsgroup.com. Right. Let's see, can I get a quick cup of tea here before we kick off? Right, Mark, that is 
another training session over um, up here at Carrick House with M Keys Transport. Again, live training is the only way we can do this, guys. Classroom session is important, but death by PowerPoint is absolutely no good. We had an absolutely fantastic bunch of 19 or 20 today. I think we're 20 today here, um, and we've done the classroom session and the practical session. So remember, driver training, especially from a regulator point of view, and getting value for money. Get your training practical, do as much practical as you can. It engages the guys more, they'd more crack outside than they had inside. The email to info at tctsgroup.com. Right, we're going to take all the defects of this. We had what defects? Eight, we had 28 defects. Some of the guys only got up to maybe five or six. So it goes to show, um, how little drivers do check vehicles at times. We go into detail how many penalty points is per each offence. We go into detail of what is it, it attaches to your operator's licence in regards of safety critical defects and how it affects operator's licence. So remember, a driver needs to understand what an operator's licence is first for them to protect your operator's licence. Anyway, that is all. Done up here now in Belfast, up at the Titanic Hotel for a quick meeting and then out this evening to the indoor the door bike racing or whatever they call it. So we're just fitting in these underground car parks are as you can see they are quite small. So when we're going in here and say a Jeep, the Range Rover or a Vita Q7 or any of them Vans like the Reynolds van or the Volkswagen van, it's always good to see. Alrighty folk, we are going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Don't leave a comment, just do something. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one.